Hello everyone, hope you are doing fine. My name is Ruhan and today we are going to talk about Git architecture in our Git and GitHub complete guide. So without any further ado, let's move on to Git architecture. So this is the architecture of distributed version control system that Git follows looks like. So basically the GitHub you hear is a remote server where our Git services are hosted. So as you can see, git take up this place where the server is noted. So there are many other alternatives for git as well that are GitLab and other alternative. GitLab is also very good. It provides a very good DevOps tools to integrate in your repository to work with. But the mainstream that is GitHub is followed nowadays more because of this open source community developers prefer GitHub over GitLab. So let's move on. We'll come to this GitHub later on in this course where we're creating our own GitHub account and we'll contribute to the open source and other things as well. So we'll move further and look and into this dev environment. So I hope this server is clear to you with this GitHub and we'll talk about this later. So in this video, we are mainly going to talk about this dev environment. So this dev environment is consider is your local personal computer whatever you are using your laptop or your pc it is this dev environment this every three blocks is present in your local development environment so suppose you started working on an app so you create a folder structure and initialize with some files so that is actually this files this working directory so till then this staging area and local repository does not exist. So once you do, do git init, that is a command we'll be looking in the future, this staging area and local repository is created. Then everything in this working directory can be pushed to this local repository using some commands we'll look at. So till now you have initialized your working repository with git and now git can track changes to your repository if you do git status we'll look all the commands in the further coming videos and everything will be clear till now bear with me with these jargons so you have a working directory and you make some changes you do git add once you do git add it go to the staging area this staging area is the middleware between the working directory and local repository so basically when you do git add whatever changes that occurs in your working directory suppose in a hello world file where there were one line you added one more line that is hello world 2 so you do git add then that line also is tracked and pushed to the staging area again from staging area if you do git commit there are certain formats where you uh, paste out the message uh, with the m flag suppose and you push that staging area files to the local repository so this staging area is a very very important area and we will look at various things out here and there are various things revolves around this area suppose git rebase git merge git branching everything we'll be looking to this staging area and the role of this staging area once you have everything in your local repository that is your two lines files you can push that to your remote repository so this is how the overall architecture works you in slice of folder structure you work in it you add it to staging area you commit and you push that to remote repository i hope this all terms are clear to you we'll be looking them one by one and we'll putting this commands to track our changes to our files we'll be using basically the text file or simple c file for understanding this concept because once you understand the concept you can apply it to any of the files whether you are writing code in python or javascript or c plus plus or any other languages as well so do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to keep updated with this kind of tutorial in the future thank you mm -hmm.